Okay, so that's um, that's that's the that's the discussion about tattooing and, and early death. Um, I, it, along the same vein, right? This is a, a 2012 article uh, by a group of uh, authors led by Justin Blackburn, and this is a, a paper called um, "Tattoo Frequency and Types Among Hob- Homicides." So this isn't. Um, uh, like the, the the piece we were just discussing, is not a, an attempt to link tattooing per se with the risk of getting murdered, but it is a way of trying to see what, if any, relationship there is between uh, tattooing and and murder victims. <laughs> um, and again, like it's very silly if you actually know anything about tattooing, but these are the things that people try and publish papers on. Um, this 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 these authors, Blackburn et al. Um, are looking at t- tattooing uh, amongst homicides in 2000, between 2007 and 2008, um, abstracting data from autopsy records maintained by the Jefferson County Alabama Coroner Medical Examiner's Office. So again, the same kind of issue as is that, that previous paper where we're looking at, um, you know, not exactly an open generalized data set. These are people who are victims of murder and um no obvious uh no obvious kind of correlation or, or control group in the general population um but but they suggest from their results quote the results of the current studies suggest that specific types of tattoos but not all tattoos may be risk factors for homicide um so if you get certain tattoos my friends you may end up getting murdered is what they are saying um the the most the most risky uh, and this varies by race as well. If you're uh, a black person, um, the, 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 the most prominent tattoo amongst homicide victims um, is a name. Um, 33% of homicide, black homicide victims in that period in this place were, had names tattooed. 13.2% of white homicide victims had names tattooed on them. So they want to say that that suggests a risk factor, that, that somehow getting a name tattoo is 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 a is a causal factor for being murdered um they say as well that a recent study observed that individuals whose deaths were the result of homicide are more likely to have tattoos than those resulting from non-homicide deaths um and you know um, they also say that perhaps there's a temporal relationship between acquiring a tattoo and high risk behaviors tattoos represent underlying desire for adventure and individualism so again it's not necessarily maybe that like having names tattooed on you is more indicative of the kind of you know, general population groups that they're looking at, or the age of people that they're getting that they're looking at, or the you know whether there's a kind of just uh, correlation does not equal causation. It's just it seems that um, younger people who are sadly more likely to be involved in uh, gang related violence and more likely to die in a way that will get you into this statistic set. Um, are also more likely to get tattooed or just happen to be amongst the group of people who get tattooed. There's no, as I said, comparison with the general population. This is like basic, basic uh, issues in statistical analysis. I'm not a mathematician or a statistical analyst. I do uh, you know, read papers with lots of statistics in and I are tuned from years of reading and listening to skeptical podcasts and skeptical activists and, 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 and people talking about data uh, and how to treat you skeptically. I there are things that one looks out for, even without a kind of mathematically attuned brain. Um, and one of the things is is this what ends up get, getting called kind of p hacking or or, um, or 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 cherry picking your data. So what we have here is basically finding correlations, assuming that they have a causal relationship, without looking at a control group to make a, to make any sense that actually they might just be otherwise overlapping, right? Um, it's kind of funny. I don't think, even though the data here seems to suggest that it's possible that having a name tattoo uh, is likely a risk factor for homicide. <laughs> um, although, again, hilariously, right? Like, quote, 
no surprise here. There's no association between the number and type of tattoos and homicide among all individuals. Um, significant associations among blacks were observed for having at least two tattoos and having a tattoo as a text or phrase, specifically a memorial tattoo. Interestingly, interestingly, among whites, the association between tattoos and homicides was mostly protective with a significant association observed for having one tattoo. So if you have a tattoo and you're white, it's going to stop you getting murdered? Um, I mean, prior plausibility might suggest that actually what you're looking at is noise in the data rather than anything that's actually true. Um, in a similar study, they say Comor and Lathrop reported homicides were 30% more likely to have at least one tattoo compared with accidental deaths with 40% more likely to have a text tattoo. Whereas the current study reported no association for having at least one tattoo. No way. Two studies of this kind come to different results. What could that mean? Um, anyway, like, it's very, very silly. Um, <laughs> they, they're looking at, you know, the fact that they've, they've got in front of them a proportion of people who've died by, you know, by homicide, who've been murdered because that's their job. And concluded that that means that there's an association rather than looking at for example tattooing in the general population or even thinking about the plausible relationship between the quote unquote protective relationship between tattooing um they conclude uh no way no shit sherlock although this current study reported an association between tattoos and homicides among black individuals with certain types of tattoos it's unclear, no shit, whether tattoos are a direct risk factor for homicide or a marker for behaviours that increase an individual's risk of homicide. Really, guys? Is there a secret third option? <laughs> um, although the increasing popularity of tattoos in recent years has made them more of an outlet for artistic expression, they say it's possible there still exists a subpopulation of tattooed individuals who are at increased risk of homicide. Although the current study was able to identify an association between tattoos and homicide, the association was limited to blacks with specific types of tattoos. That's called p-hacking. If you only find an association in a certain subset of your data, it's likely that that association is not actually there. Right? Nonsense. Nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. <laughs>